Welcome back. The Bison, for the fourth straight week, are playing a team on the playoff bubble. While the Bison have clicked off three straight wins, opposing teams know a win against NDSU is a big resume builder, and Youngstown State is no exception. The Bison with a 3-1 and one record on the road this year. We're going to start you off on Youngstown State's first possession. Ricky Davis, he walks in untouched to give the Penguins an early 7-0 lead. Now, after a Cam Peterson 30-yard field goal cuts the score to 7-3, Youngstown gets this 45-yard touchdown run on the jet sweep from Jody Webb. This would give the Penguins a 14-3 lead at the half. On NDSU's opening drive in the second half, Easton Stick plunges in from less than a yard out to cut it to a 14-10 game. But just two plays from scrimmage later, Youngstown increases the lead to 21-10 on another long run from Jody Webb. 77 yards here. And the Penguins have the Bison against the ropes. Now, after YSU hits a 44-yard field goal, King Frazier makes it a 24-17 game on this seven-yard run. Cam Peterson hits a 40-yarder to get the Bison within three. And then with just under 40 seconds to go, it's Easton stick time. Stick on the quarterback keeper. Touchdown! Stick from four yards out gives the Bison the come from behind win. Bison head coach Chris Kleiman saying afterwards, it really was a tale of two halves. We couldn't stay on the field. I don't know what time of possession was. In the first half, we never had it because we couldn't get off the field and offensively we couldn't stay on. That was the main message. You don't have to get after these guys. Uh, these guys are going to play hard and they're going to play for all 60 and we needed all 60 today. And the Bison taking their first lead of the game at the end of the game. Stick with two rushing touchdowns. The Bison now poised for a first round bye in the playoffs. Now coming up tonight at 10, we'll hear from the players on this big, big win.